we're motoring along the Blue River right now, heading out on our first uh, summer fishing trip here in Colorado. Just got back from Arizona last weekend. Sue's flown off to a hen party in Wisconsin, so the little doggies and I are doing a quick overnighter to test our ability to put a trip together for uh, Utah next week, which will be much longer, four to five days. Uh, all the rivers locally are in an absolute flood right now. Uh, it's a mess, so we're pretty much limited to tailwaters and maybe uh, some still waters and a pump canal or so. Anyway, we're looking forward to getting out fishing and should be doing that uh, within another hour. We're at Williams Fork Reservoir. Uh, basically, this is tomorrow's destination, but both dogs needed a break, as did I, so I rigged up a little metal leader and a uh, woolly bugger on our rod, and we'll uh, see if we can go down and maybe hook a pike or something. Uh, holy smokes. I'm reeling and I'm trying to play a really nice fish. It took a surface fly I'm walking along the edge of this canal. Let's see if we can get him up. Oh boy, is he a dandy. Look at this thing. It's a really nice fish. Don't know what it is. It might be a brown. What a dandy fish there. Strong as can be. Come here, little guy. That's a dandy fish. That's a nice, nice, nice one. Good sized brown. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here. Let's get you loose. Oof. Fun for the first fish of the summer. Very, very strong. Very strong. Here he comes. Let's see if we can get him loose in just a second. Here's another fish. This one's a nice little rainbow. It's a dandy. This one's about a foot. See? Careful, careful, careful. It's not falling this thing. The brown is about 16, this is about a foot, so... I'm not unhappy. Here she comes. Oh, nice rainbow. Okay, once more, the wind's howling. It's hard casting, difficult casting, but... Uh, we're getting strikes, that one popped off, and that's just fine. I'll have to admit, this pumpkin owl is really bizarre fishing. Uh, I started throwing uh, woolly buggers, which have worked before, right down by the bridge, way in the background, and uh, had no success at all, and then noticed a few fish heads popping up by the bank, so put on a little number 18 WRS, uh, just a little gray one, and uh, started catching fish here and there. Not a lot, maybe had a half dozen on, and probably missed uh, at least that many more strikes so the uh, winds howling downstream now from a thunderstorm that's perking up uh, I'm gonna take the dogs back to the car maybe get a little change of clothes and come back and try it uh, nymphing and here's another little smallish rainbow I believe that took uh, an RS2 trailing a small brown stone I'll get him off and on his way in a heartbeat. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, I turned off the camera to unhook the first fish, and lo and behold, what happened? The second one came up behind it and took it. Took the second fly, so we've got a, one of those stupid doubles. The first one flopped off. I hope this one does too shortly. Bye. Well, here's another rainbow on the RS2. These guys look like they have to be little hatchlings, but it's fun anyway. <laughs> Made a few casts into this maelstrom, which is actually the Colorado River, as a tailwater coming out of uh, Shadow Mountain Reservoir flowing into Lake Granby. Uh, 
Actually, I caught a half dozen little fish. They were either stalkers or they're hatchlings, so it was not much fun. Uh, this river can be fun in the summer. There's about a three mile stretch of it between Shadow Mountain and Granby. Uh, I've never walked it all, but I'll bet it's darn good fishing as you get away from the crowds. Ah, uh, so here we are at camp on Williams Fork. sleep today. I'm happy to be here because I'm going to have a happy day. The wind calms down and maybe we can do a little fishing this evening.